All right, let's talk about fidget spinners. Uh, I know I might be a little late to the party, but um, I thought I'd just make this video because, you know, I've been seeing a couple things, you know, around saying like, oh, about how fidget spinners are helpful for people who hard, have, you know, a hard time concentrating or people with ADHD and the list goes on. Besides these things being, you know, plastic, very cheap to buy on Amazon and Walmart or wherever you can find one besides the really expensive ones that are completely unnecessary. Um, I thought I'd make a video because I don't think I've seen anyone really address this yet and that could even go for um, technical like studies on these things, which you may be thinking like, what's the reason to do a study on something that's literally $3 on Amazon? No, $2, $2.50 on Amazon. So first, let's get into it. Now, you probably know the title of the video, like saying about ADHD and fidget spinners. Now, myself personally, I've had to deal with ADHD my whole life. I just can't, I can't sit still sometimes. I have a hard time concentrating. All these little little things that, you know, plan my day-to-day -day life, which it's gotten better as I've gotten older, but still, I still struggle with some of that stuff today. So for fidget spinners in the eyes of someone who has ADHD and someone who can personally like uh, give a word for it in terms of like does it, if it actually helps people with ADHD. Some people like to sit, call these things everything from they're worthless, they're trash, God's biggest mistake, <laughs> the list goes on. So I mean despite people saying these things is it actually true that like let's say someone like me with ADHD or any other kind of like I guess disability or whatever does this actually help in any way shape or form so firstly I'm gonna start off with concentration now um, in terms of these things like for concentration um, yeah yeah, they do the exact opposite. These things, like, in order to spin these things, they require more concentration than they do more, like, taking, like, away from it, like, to concentrate. See, that's the thing I'm do doing right now. It's a, that's, that's my uh, point right here. I'm trying to spin this thing, and I'm trying to talk to the camera. It takes away your focus more than it, like, makes you more focused. And even I've heard someone say, like, oh, if you do like this, like, while it's spinning back and forth, it'll, um that's what you're supposed to do to make it help you concentrate it, it doesn't do it guys like for example now it, it's not just with something like okay let's say I'm taking a test I'm studying while trying to do this no I'm talking about even like when I'm trying to watch like one of my favorite like a uh, YouTube video or something else that's like fun and I'm trying to spin this thing at the same time this thing like takes away that concentration so I'm gonna have to give it a no it does not help with concentration it actually does the exact opposite and takes more constant concentration away from your primary task if this is not the primary thing you're doing so basically concentration no but in terms of like let's say um in terms of like you know fidgeting around or you know like just not trying to sit still like if you can tell if you probably tell throughout the whole video i'm just constantly moving around whether it's moving my hands moving this fidget spinner or it's, that's not visible to the camera i'm just bouncing my knee up and down and then it's not something i can control it's more more of a habit so for fidget spinners um, do they help like with anything like that for my personal experience of having these things for at least a week? Um, I'd say yes, kind of and what I mean by that is like let's say um, You're just sitting down like this or you're like you have literally nothing better to do like you're bored Are you just standing doing nothing and you just want to fidget or you just want to spin the fidget spinner a little bit? I say that gives you something to do um, a little bit it just you know it kind of helps especially if you do it like this like you uh, move it back and forth like this, and that um, the uh, G I guess the G-force it creates. I mean that could be considered something to do, but I mean even way I consider that only kind of works, I suppose. But, but but you know, I'd say these things are kind of you know. Man, my phone's going off. Put that away. In terms of like like trying to like you know sit still or not doing anything, I'd say these can can work to an extent. I feel like there's like a cutoff area that I haven't found yet. Overall, like let's say you're not someone with ADHD. Let's say you're someone who just like is interested in these things. Because at first I was really intrigued by these. Mainly the main reason being is because like when I first saw them and I was like, oh man, these things are a complete waste of money. They're useless. Like all they do is do this, nothing more. But once I heard like, oh, like for people with ADHD or ADD or something, like this will really could help them out like with like concentration or sitting still or or whatever the case may be it, it could help people with as someone who's just like interested in these things and you want to buy one i mean 
my personal opinion of these things still is kind of the same. At first I thought, you know, they're a complete waste of money. And I'll be honest, they kind of are a complete waste of money. <laughs> Honestly, these things aren't going to be something you're going to carry around me with you all day. And even if you do, it'll probably be like for like a week or something. And then you'll, you'll be, be sitting collecting dust on your nightstand or wherever. Now, if you're absolutely bored and you just happen to have it on you every once in a while just to do this, I could see that, picking it up. But overall, you're not really going to get much of a very, like, very heavy experience with these things. At least from my opinion, you won't. I'd say these things are kind of useless i mean besides you know the whole spin these around if you're bored or whatever just absolutely nothing better to do that includes if you don't have your phone on you so if you don't have your phone on you you're whatever and you still happen to have these like go for it buddy like go ahead and spin some spinners do a couple uh tricks while you're at it couple just a, just a couple tricks a couple tricks oh. so overall i give these thing as a if you really want to go buy one go ahead waste your money well not waste your money go ahead spend the money on them but other than that um i, I wouldn't buy these if you if you're really not like they're like if you're really on the fence about it don't buy them but if you really really want to get one just because don't buy like four of them like i did i mean technically they all came in a pack for eight bucks on amazon and that's why i thought the deal was pretty sweet but besides that don't pay much for these I'm not really vlog I'm not making a vlog today. I'm making a video. Hey, Darren's vlog. I'm I'm not vlogging. <laughs> Can you put it on your vlog though? I'm done. And it's gonna be a completely separate video. Oh, man. Okay, show it to people then. I mean, I'm going to. As I was saying, if you really want to go out and buy these at your local Walmart, Target, Amazon, just wherever you can buy these things. I only checked Amazon because I was too lazy to go to the store, nor did I really have access to go to the store. But don't spend more than $10 on these things. Like, these things really are not worth more than probably $2.50. And I know I said I paid 8 bucks for all these, including this one. But, I mean, keep in mind, that's like 2 4 6 8 Yeah, that's 8 bucks right there. So each if these each of these were like two fifty or two dollars, so yeah, two four. I guess I pay an extra probably dollar fifty for that this one right here in the middle. But point being, so yeah, I guess that's my personal experience with it. Um, I guess if there's any questions in the comments, I'd be willing to answer. But other than that, guys, um, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up or a spin up. Hoo <laughs> hoo, I'm hilarious. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.